quick warning, this trailer is surprisingly explicit. Hello popcorn junkies, how are you? Welcome to this trailer reaction for a film that looks gothic, twisted, dark, vampiric, haunting, icky. And of course, it is a reboot or remake or the next chapter in the Crow franchise. I don't know if you remember the infamous original film, The Crow, made in 1994, uh, in which and on the set of or during which uh, Brandon Lee, the star, tragically got shot in a manner that was echoed horrendously more recently with Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer on Rust. You know, again, Brandon Lee shot accidentally on set, but they completed the film because most of his scenes had been shot. They had to sort of do some stunt double sort of stuff towards the end. But yeah, that was the original film, The Crow. And this is, a, as I say, a reboot. Now, what makes me interested in this is essentially the cast. Bill Skarsgård. Who doesn't like Bill Skarsgård with that? I thought when he played uh, Pennywise in It, um, I thought, wow, look at that that eye, the slightly sort of wavering eye. What a chilling detail to, to add into the clown's face. But of course, he has that slight sort of uh, you know, wandering eye type thing. So he has a, a brilliant face. He was also in that recent horror film, uh, Barbarian, which was fantastic. Uh, and he stars as the eponymous hero, the crow, who um, is essentially a character who is caught in the nether regions, not the nether regions, Netherlands? No, the kind of no man's land of being alive or being dead. He's caught in this kind of spiritual kind of in-betweenness, a sort of undeadness, uh, because he was killed and his girlfriend was killed. And he has these sort of almost superpowers and thus wants to avenge both his death and the death of his girlfriend. And his girlfriend in the film is played by none other than the uh, musician, singer, FKA Twigs. Last time I saw her was in Honey Boy, um, the uh, Shia LaBeouf, 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 LaBeouf film. Um, so I think this could be interesting. Um, I think this is going to be twisted. It has the opportunity to be quite stylish and, and, and sort of, you know, darker in a sense than the original. It's directed by Rupert Miles Sanders. He did the uh, Snow White and the Huntsman, um, which was a cracking uh, sort of dark, twisted kind of fairy tale rehash of Snow White. I don't know why with the crow, I'm always getting, why is he a crow? Is there is there a crow in there? I'm not entirely sure what the crow has to do with it, whether there is constantly a crow in the background or whether the crows are the harbingers of death. Um, um, and all that kind of malarkey. I'm, I'm getting sort of heavy metal vibes. I'm feeling that this will be kind of dark, twisted, gothic, as I say, gothic kind of twisted stuff. So without further ado, let's check this out, shall we? What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliant and broken. You feel like my person? <laughs> you feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. Shelly! Shelly! Please don't do that! Someone dies. A crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah, he did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. 
It's love. Look at what you've become. You know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. No, I do. How many people have you loved? How many people have you loved? Hopefully only one, because he could, uh, you know, he's only avenging one, but all those people responsible for his and FKA Twigs' death. My God, sorry, guys. That was brutal. In fact, I might have to put a warning at the front of this just to say this is extremely violent. Lots of head splatting, lots of shooting. Well, fantastic. I mean, sex at the beginning. It's a sexy, intense relationship. And then he dies. And then we had almost an under the skin kind of, um, you know, falling into goopy stuff, which is obviously the transition into death and the nether life and the, the in-betweener and the, and the kind of dark, twisted kind of, is he alive? Is he a zombie? Is he still alive? What's happening to him? All that kind of stuff. Then he comes back. And then now the only problem I've got with this is if he's that invincible if he's that unkillable where does the jeopardy come from i mean he was chopped he was sliced he was run over by a bus he was he was everything happened he was shot repeatedly nice to see that they managed to include some contemporary dance in there haven't seen any contemporary dance for a while I haven't been sad as well so it's nice to get a little bit in there and to have it associated with dark demonic devilish kind of shit he's got a crow flying alongside him kind of giving me um, what was the Sandman, Netflix Sandman kind of vibes. The Crow as the harbinger of doom and death. Maybe a bit obvious, but it's called The Crow. So I suppose he has to have The Crow there. And all the, the problem with The Crow is whenever it crows or croaks, it sounds like it's laughing, doesn't it? So it kind of undercuts the drama. It's a horror film. I mean, it almost feels like it takes Joker to the next level of explicitness. But I was feeling that this was a more grown-up version of something like Morbius. Um, but it's sexy. It's violent. It's, I mean, the kid, I mean, but also that trailer kind of showed us everything. We see them die and we see them enter the afterlife. And then my only concern is he appears so invincible. Where's the jeopardy going to come from? Do you get me? Maybe the Japanese is going to be around his FKA Twigs girlfriend dying again. Anyway, what do you think, guys? Was that too much? I don't think it's too much, but I was shocked.